Welcome to the calendar overview for renewing maintenance plans. We'll begin by showing really the behind the scenes setup on how you can select uh, which items you want on an invoice when renewing the maintenance plan. Uh, and then we'll show how it works within a patient profile, how you actually renew uh, that maintenance plan. So let's begin here by clicking on administration in the top menu bar. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the line item bundles. Now, before we go to this section though, I wanna point out the, how this all kind of works behind the scenes is, you're able to set up your line and bundles, right? These are the services that you want added to an invoice when a maintenance plan is renewed. We then have the maintenance plan types. That's what shows up in the uh, client profile uh, and, and it's what you're actually renewing, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create line and bundles and we're gonna link them to the maintenance plan types. That will then enable us to very properly uh, renew those plans within the specific patient profile. So we'll start here with the line item bundles. Okay, now you can see we have several in place here in our test account. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just show you uh, one that's already created. Now, you don't have to worry about the naming here. This is all, of course, customized, customizable for you, so you can select whatever naming you like. But here, let's take this HSP maintenance with copayment by Neural. Uh, so we can see here, of course, there's that same description. Um, the discount area you can largely ignore for this. This does have a purpose for line and bundles, um, but not like in this scenario. So you can ignore the discount in this case. And you can see there are two services in place. There we have the 710 and the client maintenance uh, co-payment, right? So these are the two items that are part of this bundle. So I do want to show you how you actually create a bundle uh, just very briefly here. So let's back out of this. Uh, we're going to go ahead and create a title here. So we'll just stay very... Uh, not very creative here, and just say test three, okay? Um, that's important to note that you uh, will likely have a drop down with different clinic, clinic options. You just need to enter this for one clinic and it will copy out to the rest of your clinic. So uh, just uh, add this for the first time, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and uh, ignore the discount and say continue. All right, this is where we're gonna add the item. So we'll kind of replicate what we just saw there with the HSP binaural, just kind of show those steps. Uh, so first we'll pick the type. Now your types will be different than this. These are just sample ones we have in place here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take HSP services and then let's go ahead and find that 710. There it is. Okay, so it has the item, has this HS HSP code that's associated and we're going to select add. All right, this is now part of our bundle. If this is all you need, one item, on the invoice when you're renewing these maintenance plans, that's great. You still need to create a bundle, uh, but a bundle can be one item. And so uh, if this is all I needed, great, you click save and you're all set. But in this case, I'm gonna say, no, we do wanna add another one. We're gonna add the maintenance copayment. So let's go ahead and select copayments and client maintenance copayment. And then very importantly, we'll click add off to the right here. This now is added the two items to our, in this case, test three bundle. And then we'll click save and then we'll see that on our list. And of course, if we ever, ever look at that later and modify, you can edit it and see those items. Okay, so now we've created our bundle or in, in very likely multiple bundles you'll wanna create. Um, now we need to connect that, the bundle, to the maintenance plan type. So let's go up here to the top right to maintenance plan types. All right, once again, you can see I have a series of templates already built in place here. Uh, let's have a look once again at the HSP binaural. All right. What well, we can see here, of course, is the title. We can see the copayment. Now the copayment, I do wanna highlight, is um, is specific to really the, um, the client dates area within the patient profile. So this is really just gonna show up in one place and it's meant to advise uh, when you're looking at the profile as to what the copayment is for that patient. So this won't drive what's on the invoice. It won't drive what's on the claim. That is managed through the line items we just set up in the bundle. And so this is just for pure uh, advisory purposes. And I'll show you where that is in the patient profile when we get there, okay? Um, all right, so now we have this one. Let's show the, uh, the invoice related values that are in place here. So it's basically saying, when renewing a maintenance plan, uh, here are the details that will go into the invoice. Okay, so let's go ahead and have a look. In this case, case you can see, um, we have the payer type on the invoice that is HSP. The tax rate would be GST 10%. And the line item bundle here is the HSP plan with co-payment by neural, right? So right away, we can see that when a maintenance plan is renewed for a patient on this uh, HSP by neural plan, here are the details that we use to set up the invoice. Now, when you are setting this up, if you have multiple locations, you do want to go through each location and set up these same parameters. Um, 
you of course can have different parameters for different locations if you like, but typically it would be the same. But just make sure you go through each location um, and set it. And when you make a change, let's see, we're here in Godwin Street. You can click Save. You'll see the Save option there. It'll then disappear, and you can move on to the next clinic, set your parameters, and save. Okay. So let's show that process though, and then just save this to kind of lock everything in. Um, but let's go ahead and show that process um, just kind of from the start. So let's just go with our, our same example for test three. I'm going to say uh, 5080 uh, is the copayment and save. Now it's created the type. Okay, so now we're going to edit that. So we add more to that. So we're going to click edit and then the renew invoice values. All right, so now we can see, once again, the clinic drop down. We can see uh, who the payer may be. Um, in this case, let's just kind of, once again, follow that same example. Let's say this is an HSP payer uh, tax. You're, you're gonna leave this typically at 10%. Um, it won't automatically apply a 10% tax to each item. It just causes counselor to look at the invoice and say, okay, of all the items on here, do any have a tax amount? If so, go ahead and apply it, right? So it's looking specifically at the items and making that judgment uh, item by item. Uh, then we'll see the bundle. All right, let's go with the one we were looking at before, the HSP maintenance plan with copayment by neural. Okay, or bilateral. And I'll click save. And then once again, you can go down the list and do that for each clinic uh, within your organization. Okay, uh, so you do that for, in this case, for all three. We save it, we close. Okay, save to kind of uh, back out of that. And now we have the maintenance plan type in place. All right, so at this point, we have the setup here. We're ready to go. So let's jump into a patient profile and let's go ahead and see what it looks like as far as renewing that plan. So within the patient's uh, policy tab here, specifically within the client dates area, you can see that this patient has the HSP BNM uh, binaural uh, maintenance plan in place with an expiration date of August 30th, 2023, right? So uh, instead of having to manually create an invoice, all you have to do is click renew. It's then going to take the setup where we were just looking at before. It's going to show it to you here, right? So we can see what the current plan is. We can see what the projected uh, expiration, the new expiration date would be, right? Looking at um, August 29th of 2024. Because what it does is it looks out 364 days, and that's the date you're going to see. So you could absolutely modify this. If there's a, a reason why it shouldn't be that date, you can definitely change it. You also have the ability to change the, the maintenance plan. So if for some reason, this patient with the renewal is switching plans, right? If that ever applies, you do have the ability to change it along the way. Now we think typically you're gonna leave this as it is and you're gonna leave the data as it is, right? But you do have those options. And then of course it shows you the specific configuration, the clinic, the payer type, tax, right? Um, so that's all visible. So if you notice anything that's wrong here, then you go ahead of course back into uh, the setup areas and make any, any fixes that are needed but I'm gonna go ahead and click Renew. What that will do is, oh, there we go. It does provide a warning. I shouldn't have thought about this. It does provide a warning if the provider is not set. And so I'm gonna back out of this and we're gonna go back to the General tab. Now, typically you'll have a preferred provider set, but if by some chance you do not, go ahead and choose your preferred provider, okay? And then click Save. That will lock it in. And now we go back to the Policies area. We go to Renew. We can see, okay, same parameters, but this time we click Renew, it lets it go through. And so what just happened with that one click is it built the invoice, right? So it created the invoice, it set the parameters, HSP, GST, uh, it added the two items that were designated for that line in a bundle, the 710 plus the client, client uh, maintenance copayment. It splits it out so you know which is due from uh, the client and which is due from, in this case, HSP. So here we can see 5080 is due from the client and uh, 21850 uh, we're expecting from HSP, right? So if you want, of course, you can take payment from the patient straight away. Then we jump to the claims tab. This is where it took us to right away because we want you to be able to generate, you know, export this claim very, very quickly. So here we can see that we have uh, the 710 in place, right? We can see the maintenance cost to client is 5080, right? That's the co-payment. And we can see that the total cost to client is 5080. Now, in this case, the patient did not have uh, an audiogram in place. If there's an audiogram in place, the counselor will automatically calculate the three falls. You can edit those if for some reason you need to, or if they're not in place, you can add them on the fly. Okay, so let's just go ahead very quickly and get some three falls in place. Typically, you won't need to do that, 
but just so you're aware you have that option. Then we're going to go ahead and say ready for export. Great. That just uh, created the claim and now it is available in the HSP batches area. Right. So, so when you think about this, you can have your list of patients that you want to renew uh, their maintenance plan for, right? whether it's private pay or it's HSP or some other payer, and you can go through that list, go into their uh, policies tab, into the client dates area, click renew. It will then create the invoice with the specific parameters that have already been preset behind the scenes with uh, line item bundles and maintenance plan types, and then take you right to the point of being able to create, uh, create, a, uh, uh, create a claim uh, to submit to HSP. Or in the case of private pay, it'll build the invoice and then the amount due is from the patient. So it wouldn't create a claim in that scenario. Okay, and now we can see is our date here has been updated. So now it's set to uh, August 29th, 2024 as the new expiration date. Okay, so that's the process for renewing, um, uh, you know, the setup and the actual process of renewing a maintenance plan. There's one other quick qualifier I want to throw out there just for you to be aware of. Uh, as you may already know, within the line item list within Counselor, there is the ability to associate a, uh, a maintenance plan with a specific item. So once again, let's stay with that 710, okay? And when I edit that 710, what you'll see here is that there is a maintenance plan designated for this item. This is incredibly helpful for when it's the first time uh, this patient is getting, in this case, the 710. What will happen is you create the invoice and the claim for the 710, and then it automatically sets that um, maintenance plan type uh, in their profile as, uh, in this case, the uh, HSP uh, binaural, right? And then going forward with the renewals, it knows what the plan is, right? And then it can help you create the renewals. So the only reason I bring, bring this up is that you do want to make sure that things are consistent, right? And, and likely they would be. Um, but if you have, let's say, this was set to monorail, and you had the maintenance plan type uh, with a bundle for binaural, then you could run into some troubles, right? Then it would start to uh, maybe behave in a way you're not expecting. So I would just encourage you to uh, maybe review these, make sure they're consistent. That in this case, pretty straightforward. With a 710, it's going to be a binaural uh, uh, maintenance plan. But just something to be aware of. If you see anything that doesn't seem quite right, this is probably the first place you want to look and check. Now, of course, with all of this, we're happy to help you customize your system, kind of talk through any questions that you may have, um, and make sure this is as, as smooth as possible. So if you have any questions, please feel free to submit a ticket, uh, live chat with us, email us. We are happy to help. Uh, thank you very much for joining us for the overview for renewing maintenance plans.